is Lei here from the Mermaid Cavern. For those who are joining me for the first time, welcome. And for those who have been here before, welcome back. So I know it's been a few days. I haven't been able to record. I've just been super crazy busy with this relaunch and my orders. I'm very grateful, of course. Um, but yeah, I haven't been able to record. And there goes my train. <laughs> but i wanted to do this unboxing video i actually had this diamond painting set aside for a couple days now it's just like i said i haven't been able to record because of my schedule but i figured you know what let's do this let's get it out there and then i can also introduce my new items that's coming up on my shop today so if you're familiar with my etsy shop I have been introducing a lot of cover minders and trash minders lately and one of the popular items that I have right now are these tumblers. So I wanted to do a Marie Cavern themed tumbler set and I found the perfect filament to do that. And so I would like to introduce you guys to my new set of tumblers and this is actually again the mermaid cavern theme tumblers so they're all going to be the same color but i'm going to offer it in the different types of tumblers that i offer so if you can see here this is like a mermaid shimmer i wouldn't particularly say a color shift although technically there are a bunch of mermaid colors in this so it's navy blue teal purple i know it's kind of hard to see um the navy blue tends to pull out a lot more and then it also has glitter in it so yeah but it technically is mermaid oh there you can kind of see the teal a little better from the top but yeah these are my mermaid cavern tumblers so if you're familiar, this is actually the pineapple cup, but I'm going to be offering it in this color. So just if you like the style, it has like this square diamond effect. Super cute. And then we have our... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> and then we have our very popular micro tumbler. So this is the micro studs. Um, a lot of people like the micro studs. I've been selling a lot of these, so I am going to be offering this one as well. And then we have our regular studs. So these, this is very similar to the micro studs. It's just bigger studs. So um, yeah, you can kind of see it. And actually, Starbucks does have a tumbler like this where it has these like more coarse studs on it. Kind of pokes the fingers a little bit, but yeah, it's um, going to be offered in this color as well. And then I have my new tumbler. This is going to be my smooth tumbler. So if you can see it here, it doesn't have any like type of designs on the sides. It's just a smooth tumbler. So this is going to be my newest release. I'm also going to be releasing this in the other colors as well. So I'm going to update that listing so you'll be able to choose the smooth tumbler as well. So yeah, these are going to be my Mermaid Cavern tumbler set. And then, um, just so you know, I have released my other tumblers as keychain forms too. So if you want these as keychains as well, um, these will also be available in keychain form. So it'll be keychains and uh, magnets or cover minders. And then if you're familiar, these cover minders do open, which is why they are trash minders. So you can stick your little trashies in there. And there's going to be magnets at the bottom that stick to your um canvas so um one thing i wanted to touch on too is that i know that some people like to diamond paint sorry some people like to diamond paint at an angle and someone did leave a review um that they didn't like that they couldn't diamond paint at an angle with these so just so you know these do stick up the magnet goes on the bottom it's not on the back so they stick up straight vertically like this so if you're gonna diamond paint at an angle of course it's gonna topple or it's gonna like tilt because it's like a long cylinder <laughs> so you know it's not like your typical flat cover minders that you usually get with your diamond paintings where it's just like a piece that's flat that you can lay on your diamond painting so it doesn't matter what angle you're in this actually stands vertically so it's better or meant for flat diamond painting surfaces um i did test it out though with my diamond painting and having it at an angle 
with the magnets that I use and mine didn't fall over so I don't know if maybe that person's diamond painting wasn't you know attached to their board or what maybe they weren't using a light board or something because I use a light board so with my light board I can clip it to my light board and then yeah this actually stood so but again it's probably preferable pre sorry it's probably better if you diamond paint with these flat because again they are vertical they stand pretty tall and um i don't think they're really meant to be like hanging over but yeah so these are my new cover reminders or i should say trash minders because they're actually trash minders all right so without further ado let's get into our unboxing today i'm going to be doing another enablers outpost I chose this specific diamond painting because of my release um, or my relaunch, sorry. And I wanted this particular diamond painting because I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of my relaunch and everything that I've been going through with my branding and my logos and all that. So I just thought, you know what, let me do this unboxing. So here we have her guys. And again, it's by Enablers Outpost. It's this beautiful mermaid sitting on the rock. And she kind of reminds me of Ariel. I know she doesn't have the red hair or anything like that. But she does have the green fin, which <laughs> Ariel has the green tail too. So, but yeah, so this is a 60 by 80. And then um, let me go ahead and open this up so you guys can see it better. Oh, before I forget. So this does come in this box here, which again is the same box that um, Diamond Dot Artistry uses. So I don't know if it's the same company that they use, but it does have like the instructions here. It has what your package is included with. And then I love their box. I think it's so cute with these like cherry blossom flowers and the butterflies and the diamonds in the front. But yeah, and it's very sturdy. Okay, so put the drills out. So it looks like this is a square diamond painting. Sorry, I don't really remember sometimes which one I, I kind of randomly choose what I decide to get in square and what I decide to get in rounds. So there's, there's no like rhyme to how I order them. I just kind of look at the, the art and I choose that way. So let me go ahead and reverse roll this one. It is a poured glue canvas. So you are able to reverse roll it. And I'm just gonna do that so that it can help straighten out a little better for the video. Some people don't like this method and would prefer to just kind of stick it under their mattress or um, books, anything heavy, that'll work. But I find that this method works pretty well and gives me nice results in terms of trying to make this thing straight all right so here we have her guys so this diamond painting is called cascade and is it is a licensed diamond painting from rachel byler and it also says the colorful cat studio so i'm not sure if that's her studio but if you can see down here in the corner it has the title and the licensing and probably this artist etsy shop so that's really really cool and their socials i like that they include that here then we have enablers, outposts, socials, and website here. On the top, we have their logo. And then we have our two um, schematics on the sides of the canvas, on the left and the right. So if you can see here, we have our original photo here. And again, this is a 60 by 80 square diamond painting. And here is our schematic. There are 39 colors. And I do see some special drills in this. And then, of course, I'll go ahead and put an original photo on the screen for you. That way you can compare the original photo to the rendering. I think this is a beautiful size. I believe they only offer one size um, in all of their canvases. And I'm going to assume that it's the size that they, they feel is the best rendering. And just by looking at it, she looks gorgeous. Like, you can definitely see the same photo as the original in the way this diamond painting is rendered. So again, this one has 39 colors. And just looking at the color chart, it looks like we have, I'm going to assume two crystals and two ABs because I, I see two C codes and two AB codes. 
So that's four total special drills. If there's any more, I'm sure we'll find it, but that's what I can see quoted. In the diamond painting, we also receive our little, I don't think this is a sticker sheet. Yeah, this is the one that has the photo paper. So again, we can, sorry, we can run this through our sticker machine and we have the enablers, outposts, socials, and website up here. We've got the original photo. So again, we can still run this through our sticker machine too to go in our logbook. And then we have the information on the diamond painting. So Cascade by Rachel Byler, 60 by 80 drill area, 39 colors. Oh, yep, it says right here. Two rhinestones, two ABs, poured glue canvas, square drills. So I really like that they include all this information, especially that they include the information for the artists, for their socials and their Etsy shop. So this person looks like they have an Etsy shop. So I really, really like that. And again, we have our DMC code here so that we can run this through the sticker machine, cut it up and kit up for this diamond painting. It also came with a little toolkit here. And I think it's just a basic toolkit. So we've got a tray. And then, oh, here, perfect. I can explain. Oh, there goes the pen. So we've got our single placer diamond painting pen. It does come with a little multi placer. And then we've got some blue wax. I think it's just one. Yeah, just the one blue wax. And then we've got a purple squishy, um, some blue tweezers, and then this is the cover minder that comes with it. So like I was explaining to you guys before, a lot of the diamond paintings that come with cover minders are flat. So they're just like kind of like flat discs. So they're able to lay on your diamond painting and stay put basically. Whereas these cover reminders or trash minders look at the difference you know what i mean they stand vertically they're super tall so again it's not really meant to be diamond painted at an angle but it can I, i've tested it and it, it's fine so just so you guys know i'm just throwing it out there <laughs> but yeah so that's the basic kit that it comes with and then our diamond painting canvas is kind of like that oil canvas material so it's not fabric but if you can hear that scratching that's what the oil canvas sounds like it does have the scalloped edges which is a really nice touch because it um, helps prevent fraying and then it also has that glittery background too I don't know if you can see it in the camera but it does have that shimmery background like a lot of diamond paintings do um, diamond art club does that uh, I, I know that a lot of the ones that I've been unboxing pretty much have this kind of glitter shimmer background. And yeah, so again, it's that oil painting canvas. I like the oil painting canvas because it's super sturdy and it's not like flimsy. It's not thin. There's some fabric ca canvases that I've unboxed that the canvas was soft, but it was really, really thin. So I like that this is a lot more sturdier and heavy, heavy duty. In terms of the symboling, I think the symbols look amazing. The black is rich and dark, so you can definitely um, distinguish all of these symbols on here. Even in the dark areas, like if you can see there, you can really see it in the camera. So I really like that. There's some diamond paintings that you can't really see the symbols in the darker areas, but this one you can. They did really, really well um, on coating their diamond painting. So I'm super happy about that. Although I still use a light pad anyway, I think it's just a habit now, but still, even without a light pad, you can definitely see all of your symbols on here and it doesn't look like it's going to be an issue. So let's get into our drills. Look how many greens there are. I've been finding that I have so many diamond paintings that I can use for the emerald along. And it's so funny because again, like just looking at this bag, look how many greens there are. And they're my favorite greens. I love like the pastel greens, like the aqua tealish greens, like mermaid, you know? And then we also have our olive greens, which also is beautiful too. So let's open this up. All right, so right off the bat, I found our special drills. So we've got this kind of like off-whitish color. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it is an off-white color. So we've got this off-white, oh no, it's not. It says 5200. So I guess that's just the AB that kind of gives it that look. But we have this white AB. And then we have this super pretty mint AB. I love this color. I think, oh, sorry. I'm just dropping everything today. <laughs> but I think this is so pretty. 
And then we have kind of like this turquoise. And then we have kind of like this emerald green. Oh my gosh, there's so much people driving past my front door. Sorry. <laughs> um, but it's kind of like this emerald green colored crystal. And then we have like this tealish blue colored crystal. So pretty. I think these special drills are absolutely gorgeous. I'm definitely going to be adding more special drills to this because it's such a large canvas. And I think that her tail should definitely have a lot, especially, and her hair. I actually probably would put some in her hair too. But yeah, this is our special drills. So this is the check mark. And it looks like this is kind of sprinkled throughout the waterfall in the background. And as well as some of the water down here on the bottom. But that's going to be really pretty. I love that it's sprinkled in the waterfall. The waterfall should definitely glisten. Then we have this one here. This mint color is the dot. So this one actually I see kind of throughout her tail lining. Like it's, yeah, I see it throughout the, the lining of the tail. So I guess it's going to be sprinkled throughout that. And yeah, that's kind of pretty much all I see it in. I don't really see it much in the inner tail. It's mostly in the lining. But still, that's going to be super beautiful. And then we have this, oh, you know what? Sorry, that's wrong. This is the one that's sprinkled in the tail lining. Sorry about that, this crystal. So that's the one that's gonna be in the lining here that you can see, not the AB. The AB is actually this other symbol here. Um, I would assume that it would be in the tail, but you know what? Okay, so this one is actually sprinkled throughout this kind of water reflection down here. And then it is also sprinkled throughout her lighter color of the tail here. So that's where this mint one goes. And then we have this other crystal, which is the L. And this crystal is also sprinkled around the lining. So you're going to have two contrast crystals lining. And then it also is sprinkled throughout this lighter color, like greenish minty area too. So sorry, I keep up with the camera. But yeah, so that's really, really nice. I love that. And just kind of throw it out there. We kind of have a lot of this color. We have a lot of this color and a lot of white. So if you look at the drills, you can see that these are very consistent. So I'm super happy about that. I don't really see trash, which I'm also happy about. And then if you can see that, guys, we've got nice flat bottoms. So I would definitely say that Enablers Outpost uses good drills. Oh, my baby's awake. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm going to have to wrap this up really quickly. But yeah, so you can kind of see it shimmering and it just I love it. That's their drills. All right, guys. Well, I'm super happy about this diamond painting again she just reminds me so much of everything going on with my relaunch and with the mermaid the mermaid cavern if you haven't yet i'll go ahead and link my etsy shop on here that way you guys can take a look at what i've been offering again i have a lot of um a lot of gadgets and gizmos on there you know just nothing really coincides with each other just kind of have a lot of everything kind of things that i like and i think that is fun but yeah check it out and thank you again for everyone who has been supporting me throughout this relaunch i i'm truly truly grateful you guys have no idea i'm i'm so happy and so thankful for all of you and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i promise i will try to get videos out as much as i can as fast as i can hopefully you guys stick with me on this journey my crafting journey it's not even my diamond painting journey anymore it's like my whole entire crafting journey but yeah i've been having fun so i'm so glad that you guys are following along and if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. I just ask that you keep them kind. Sorry, I'm kind of like jumbling, stumbling because I'm trying to hurry. But yeah, anyway, have a good day, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right. Bye.